I am teaching on discipline and self-control. You know, I, th I was thought this morning, a good way to talk about discipline is you have to discipline yourself to get out of bed in the morning, and you have to discipline yourself to go to bed at night, and all throughout the day, it's one thing after another after another, disciplining your thoughts, disciplining your mouth, disciplining your attitude, your actions, getting your work done, and on and on and on. And so to say I'm not a disciplined person is actually not true. You have the fruit of self-control. You may not be using it, but you have it. So stop saying, I just can't control myself in that area because what's in your power to do is in your power not to do. If you can say yes to something, you can say no to it. The choice is yours. The more you discipline yourself, God's given us self-control. He doesn't control us. He hasn't given us the right to control other people. <laughs> he wants us to control ourselves. Now in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, a very well-known verse, it says, For God gave us not a spirit of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Different translations say different things, but the ESV Bible, which is now supposed to be the most accurate translation, calls it self-control. Actually, the Amplified Bible, which I've used extensively for a number of years, says it this way. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, of cowardice, of craven and cringing and fawning fear, but he has given us a spirit of power and of love and of a calm and a well-balanced mind and a spirit of discipline and self-control. So, everybody say right now, I have discipline, I have discipline. and I have self-control. And, self and I use them both. Now, you know, a lot of people are very, very talented. It's amazing to me the talent that some people have. But it's also kind of a known fact, not with everybody, of course, but some people that are very talented are also very undisciplined. And I know one person, for example, she is talented in so many different things that she can't seem to settle on any one thing and really do anything with it because she'll get halfway into that and then she gets another idea and they're all good ideas but sooner or later you gotta harness your power and focus it into, into one thing. Talent without discipline is like an octopus on roller skates. <laughs> There's plenty of movement but you never know if it's gonna be forward, backward or sideways. Amen? Harry Truman said this, in reading the lives of great men, I found that the first victory they won was over themselves. Self-discipline with all of them came first. And I don't believe that any person can do anything great just because they have natural talent, not just because they want to, until you first can manage yourself, you're not going to be able to manage anything or anyone else very well. Don't try to manage your children if you're not going to show a good example of self-control in front of them. Amen? You should be more excited about that than that, but, you know. Telling our kids to do something while doing the opposite of what we told them actually does more harm than if we would have just kept quiet to begin with. Don't correct your child for lying if when the phone rings, you're going to tell them, whoever that is, just tell them I'm not here. <laughs> Amen? 
Like I say all the time, you're all preachers, but you say a lot more with your actions than you do with your words. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. Now, you know, I think in our society, we need to toughen up a little bit. I'm going to say it again. I think we need to toughen up a little bit. So often we try to get out of hard things by just saying, well, it's just too hard. That is just an excuse, and it is a lie that Satan puts in everybody's head. I can't, it's too hard. I can't exercise, it's too hard. I can't lose weight, I get too hungry. <laughs> I try to resist overspending, but I'm just weak in that area. We hope you enjoyed this teaching. To get more from Joyce, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.